In this video, we'll be just showing you um, the dive site location for this dive site called the Twin Piers, which is on Loch Long. Uh, this will be via pictures and video um, with um, aerial footage of my drone. Um, this is a well-known dive site, um, Loch Long. Um, to get to this location, it's roughly about 29 miles from Glasgow. Um, if you take the A82 up to Loch Long, to the side of Tarbot. I'll put a, a Google um, link in, so you can Google that and it will be on, you can put it in your sat nav. Um, basically, once you've entered the the area of Loch Long, you come round and you just see a fantastic view of this, of, of this lock, and then you sort of come back on yourself. And as you go past, you should be able to see on your left-hand side, an old torpedo testing um, it's like a pier. So from that point, you should be about roughly about a mile and a half um, to this point. And you, as you come along, you actually should see this um, on your left hand side. Um, you need to slightly slow down to this point as you see this approaching. There's really not really ideal parking in this area. So as you come along, you need to um, pull up um, onto the actual so-called pavement. Do not park on the pavement because the police will see you and actually tell you to move your vehicles and you probably would possibly get a fine. Um, the next clip or photo will be coming up which just sort of gives you a visual of the sort of space and the um, go idea where you can park. Um, so this should be coming up soon. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just walking the opposite direction where you have come from and this cross bit as we can probably park about between two cars or three max as I said park on the this gravel bit do not have a tire on the pavement or the police will actually tell you the move or get a fine if they can't find you as you can see um, briefly the tide is out at the moment um, as I said it's a stunning view lock long um, it's gonna this is a busy road as well so if crossing roads for any reason just watch out for speed and traffic especially mountain bikes so as you approach the um, twin piers, you can see there's like a, a concrete wall structure. And this is where, how you will um, as, um, descend into the uh, site. Um, you see again in a minute, there's a, like a ladder. As this has recently been improved with a new one, a new um, ladder made out of wood. Previous one was uh, still was a bit difficult to get down and to grip. Uh, again, watch for gravel if you're having carrying heavy kit. So that's the ladder that takes you down. The tides sometimes come right up, but not the time I've been there, it hasn't been too bad. And there's a close up of the ladder. As I said, it's a lot better than the previous one. And next you'll see a bit of uh, drone footage. As I said, you, the tides up, out, um, just give you just a, like a, a rough idea what it looks like. Um, normally when you go diving, um, under that pier, there's a lot of starfish and crabs um, and to the left of that there's a reef um, if you want more inf information more detailed information of that actual where to dive once you get there under the water i would recommend um, a website called finstrokes which is very handy and that'll give you more detailed information than this is um, this is just a visual i've said it before in my previous video um, to hear about dive sites but you don't see any videos any Anyone who actually been there can give you details, just always talking about what they've seen underwater. As you can see in this video, it's pretty clear, really nice. It is one of the sites I do like to dive in. Oh, well. And at this point, you won't be able to tell, but those two seagulls are just actually flown off, actually. Decided to come back and attack my drone, so I had to sort of descend pretty quick. Like I said, this is a, a very nice sunny day in Scotland. It was a perfect day for it. This is me descending because the uh, seagulls attacked, tried to attack my drone. Didn't fancy it dropping into the water. Um, further down as you sort of 
come towards like coming back on yourself there is a car park that you could park you could dump your kit if you're happy to leave it there and take your car back and park but a bit of a walk And that's the direction of travel you would have come up if you were coming from the Glasgow side of things. So that's to the left is a A road. There's not many spaces to park. You might actually come down and you find that all the spaces have taken. As I said, you could possibly park further down into the town. Because that's the opposite direction. There's another dive site further down, which is called Conga Alley which I'll be planning to do next time. And there's a grass area to the right. I think that's how far as the tide will come in. You can actually leave your kit there and go diving. It should never ever come up that high. And that's the steps going back up going back to the A road. And you can probably see that that's where the old ladder was on the floor. This is me attempt to try and fly over the area again. But the seagull was circling around me so I had to keep it low. Anyway, that, that's really it on this video. As I said, if you want further information, there's a great website which I'll put in the, the link. It tells you loads of other dive sites, um, and that would be Finstrokes. And I'll put in the link, um, the Google map reference for this as well. As I said, this is just a visual. Uh, so people, whoever wants to come to this site, are just going to get a rough idea what it looks like, not going right past and what to expect and how to get to the actual site. Okay, and the plan is to make a next video of some other time we go diving. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, um, see you next time.